Hello, this is Dick from Reedy's Home of Music in Blackburn, and I am here with the new Blackstar Silverline amps. These are high-end digital amps, and they're amazing. Really good. First reaction is they feel and respond like a valve amp, and they've, they've done really well with the styling of them as well, as you can see. It looks like a really cool boutique style amp. So the Silverline series takes up where the old TVP's left off. It uses some of the same technology, however, they've built it from the ground up. So this shark processor that's inside it, really high performance, got some crazy technology in it. You can choose your preamp, so you can choose clean, overdriven, distorted, whatever you want. You can pretty much get any sort of sound. Dial in your gain, your volume, put in your EQ. It's got Blackstar's patented ISF control on it as well, so you can really shape your tone. And then my favorite bit about it is the response section. You can choose what kind of valve you're emulating, so EL34, 6L6, whatever you want. Each one as well has been designed from the ground up. So it's not just one algorithm that they've tweaked for each kind of valve. Each one is different, so it does give you a different response, a different sound. You'll, you'll find out that when you're playing it, it has the feel, it's got the response, it's got the sag, it's got all the dynamics that a valve amp does. And I'm so, so impressed with it. They've also got some really nice effects on board, like studio quality effects. I believe that the guys from Blackstar looked at some really nice vintage effects pedals to, uh, to sort of model that sound on, and they've done really well with it. The Silverline series consists of a 20 watt combo, 50 watt combo, 100 watt combo, a 200 watt combo with two 12 inch speakers in it, 100 watt head, and a 212 to go with that. Each amp is made of lightweight plywood and has got Celestian V-type speaker in it. So we're gonna go through a few different sounds on the Stereo Deluxe, the 212, which is what we're plugged into now. We're gonna start on the clean warm setting and we've got EL84 selected. We've pushed the gain on it a little bit so that you can hear how it responds to picking dynamics and all that kind of thing. <laughs> Now we're on the clean, bright setting. We've got a 6L6 selected. We've got the gain back down, so we've got loads of headroom, really clear. And we've dialed in some stereo delay and reverb as well. It won't come through stereo on here, but basically it's drowning out because it completely fills the room. If you put some chorus on there as well, sounds ace. Now we're on the crunch setting, we've got the gain just over half, and we've put the ISF over, so it's leaning a little bit towards the British setting. Right, next up we've got like a really big stadium rock, smooth kind of mega chunky lead tone. 
we're on the OD2 setting and we've got KT66 valves selected. Uh, we've also got a little bit of reverb and a little bit of analog delay in there as well. Lastly, we're on OD1, we've got 6L6s selected and we've got the ISF over to the American side of things. We've got the gain about halfway um, and also obviously, as you've seen, I've got all these sounds out of one guitar and I'm pretty sure that John Mayer will like this next sound. I'm pretty sure this is what this was designed for. <laughs> <laughs> 